Hey folks, this is your host Mandeep. It's uh, February the 12th and uh, I'm going to do another tutorial today and um, we'll look at a slightly more complex scan today. In the past, uh, I've introduced you to the concept of scans and uh, we've typically dealt with like one condition or two conditions, but uh, in this current scan that uh, our crit set of criteria that somebody uh, emailed to me, um, it has eight different criteria. And um, again, I don't know what the output of this would uh, look like and whether it actually even meets, uh, you know, the needs of, you know, kind of stocks I like to trade. But uh, we can at least go through the tutorial, The you know, at the very minimum, it teaches you how to create um, a scan of uh, this magnitude. And uh, hopefully this should not take us more than um, eight to ten minutes to complete uh, from just the uh, creation standpoint. So the first criteria says that the stock price is above the 150 day uh, moving average and the 200 day moving average. And what we will do is, you know, we'll just default to the exponential moving average. So we'll go into thinkorswim, we'll add a filter here, a study filter, and we'll click the edit button, the edit again. And uh, what we are looking at price and we sit close so close is greater than um, and we have to find the study which gives you the exponential moving average so so expo so this is the moving average exponential which defaults to uh, nine so what we need is a criteria which says you know the close is greater than the 150 period moving average we'll save this so the close is greater than 150 as well as the 200. So in this case, we can go through the same process again, or we can simply go into the ThinkOrScript editor and we'll just paste this and say close is greater than the 200 period as well. Okay. We'll hit OK. And since this is on the um, daily, we're good. So we have the first criteria defined now. So the second criteria says the 150 is greater than 200. So back into the scan again, and uh, we'll add another filter here, which is uh, again the study filter. And in this case, what we are looking for is just this part, right? We just need the 150 to be above the 200. So we'll go back again and use the ThinkOrScript editor again, and we'll say this is greater than, so 150 is greater than 200 save this again so that's two criteria is defined and then it says the 200 day moving average is trending up for at least one month preferably more so let's say, see how we can code that so we'll add another filter here a study filter we'll paste that again and we're saying the I'll explain that to you in a second what I'm doing. So what this says is that the current month um, exponential moving average and that we get by changing this to uh, the monthly period. So the 200 day moving average is greater than the prior 200 day uh, moving average the month before. And since we want to maybe use two months, we can say um, this is greater than the month before as well, right? So in this case, we'll say, uh, the prior month is greater than the month before as well here. Okay, so that's uh, criteria defined as well. Okay, so we've got three of those defined. So let's add another study filter and go back and look at what the fourth criteria is. The 50 day is greater than the 150 day and the 200 day. Okay. So back here, we will um, hit the editor again. It's just uh, created that and, uh, and we'll just use that and we'll fix this here. So the 50 day is greater than 50 period moving average is greater than the 150 period moving average and the 50 day is also greater than 200. So we've got that criteria in place as well. Okay, We'll just save this. Now let's just look at what the next criteria is. Uh, the current stock price is above the 50 period moving average. So uh, add study here and uh, go into the editor. We already have that defined. So 
the current stock price is over 150 so we'll change this to 150 here and hit ok button so that's done as well now so going back again so we now we have uh, at number six the current stock price is at least 30 percent above its 52 week low and many of the best selections will be 100 percent 300 percent greater above their 52 week low so let's see how we can code this this just requires an extra step but it's fairly straightforward so we'll add a filter here go into the editor and uh, what we'll say is that basically we're saying close minus the lowest low of 252 period right let's put parentheses around it and we divide that by the close and uh, just to be on the safe side star 100 is greater than at least 30 let's just use the number 50 so basically what this is saying is um, that uh, the the difference between the close uh, from the, from its lowest low of the 252 period is at least you know um, 50% greater, right? So we've got that criteria defined now. Now let's move on to the next one. And it says uh, uh, the current stock price, um, the current stock price is uh, within 25% of its 52 week high. Okay, and so this doesn't require any coding. And I'll show you a very simple way of doing this. So go back into the criteria and uh, add a study filter here. And then within that, we're going to look for uh, price performance and look and click on near high low. So, so we're saying um, the current price is within, let's just call it, uh, let's just use the maybe 10%, right? And we could, of course, do it more easily. 10% of the 252 high. Okay, we'll save that. Now let's go back into the criteria again and uh, what are the last one it says the relative strength ranking as reported in investors business daily is no less than 70 and preferably in the 80s or 90s. So those of you who have followed uh, the investors business daily they actually report two numbers one is the um, you know EPS and the other is the relative strength and typically they'll report um, numbers like 98 98 and uh, so the first one refers to the um, EPS or earnings per share and when it is 98 it means it's outperforming 98 percent of the other stocks and likewise when the relative strength let's say is 98 that means the uh, it, this stock is performing uh, outperforming 97 percent of the other stocks now unfortunately the criteria for this is um, unavailable right it's uh, proprietary so what we could do is we can maybe uh, do some guesstimation here just to arrive at something uh, you know close enough for that so let's add uh, another study filter here and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we'll use the um, percentage change here so let's just use the edit button click on study look for a study called percent change double click on this so now this defaults to um, 14 but we're looking we're going to start by looking at the data for one quarter two quarters three quarters of the entire year so assuming 21 days of trading um, that, that makes it uh, uh, that'll be one uh, 63 days right so yeah so that's uh, 63 here so 63 okay we'll save this and what we'll now we'll go into the editor here but what we want to do is we want to give this more weightage right the it's more weightage to the first quarter then we'll add um, the same thing here and uh, let's just do that Control C and we'll then we'll add for the third quarter and then for the whole year Okay. But in this case, so for the second quarter, it'll be the double, right? So it'll be 126. This will be 189 if you're looking at three quarters. And finally, this number is 252. Okay, so let's uh, hit OK. Let's just uh, run the scan to see what kind of results do we get first. 
it might take um, a minute or two for this scan to run mainly because of the fact that we've got uh, you know about seven or eight different conditions so uh, on thinkorswim the scan is not running on your local machine it's running on their back end because it's going through the entire uh, you know list of stocks that we have here and uh, you know it's going through this filtering mechanism and it came up with a little over you know 200 stocks here right so that seems like a lot actually so let's see if we can further filter it down and uh, come up with a smaller set here so got a condition here and uh, let it be uh, the volume right so let's look for stocks that have some decent volume here so we we'll look for um, average volume for the last 30 days to be greater than 500,000 okay let's hit okay here hit the scan button and let's see if we get the, you know some more meaningful results here you know, and then uh, you know if it uh, it still doesn't reflect the kind of stocks that you like then we can you know make some more modifications to this but let's just at least see the kind of results that we end up getting so here's some names and uh, let me you know filter it by symbol and uh, these are some of the names that are popping up on this uh, but I'm actually surprised that we don't have some of the names that I like, like Apple, etc. But uh, maybe the criteria needs to be, you know, further uh, tuned up a little bit. So let's just quickly go through this. So this one's 150. This is good. The next one is 150 is greater than 200. That's good. 200 is uh, this. Uh, 200 day is greater than the prior month, and the prior month is that's good too close is trading above the 150 day moving average and close minus the lowest low divided by close is also greater than 50 so maybe we can you know fine tune this and maybe turn this to 30 to see if we get some of the names that we like here hit the scan button once one more time and uh, so hopefully this one is uh, is going to let's see what the criteria is here okay that's the issue here i think what we need here is we need to define some number over which it's greater so let's just use this i'm going to click on the scan button again so in, instead of using 100 right uh, which is the max what we're using an absolute number there for the um, percentage change right just to you know calculate what the relative strength is um, of that particular stock in terms of how it has outperformed um, over you know the current quarter the quarter before and so on and so forth so let's see if we get uh, you know some uh, better results here so yeah so i think i had a little error but now we have um, a little uh, a better criteria here okay so now uh, again i think this is uh, a little, little too many right but uh, you can either you know make further changes to this and what we can do is just just to make it a little bit more interesting uh, we can add another filter here and we limit it by price here right so let's just add a stock filter here and just say the minimum price is you know fifty dollars here just so that we can get a reduced set and the whole idea of this tutorial anyway is uh, it's for illustrative purposes um, because for me, I don't, you know, like scans that uh, um, are like, you know, in the hundred to two hundred, you know, and this is still still high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another filter here, and uh, look for, you know, stocks that trade uh, over a certain range. So let's just make this ATR is at least. Uh, let's just use three here but we could uh, you know adjust this as you need it let's just run the scan and then you know we'll make no more adjustments all we're going to do is take a look at the result either way the purpose of this was to just kind of show you how to create a complex now this has got more um, a reasonable number of scans so what i'm going to do is you can actually save it as a scan i'm just going to save it as a watch list just for um, dem demonstration purposes right uh, new criteria okay so we'll just save this here let's just go back here and take a look at what the results look like here so this should be in the personal list here 
and let's just click on these charts okay so now there's not too many stocks it's easy to look at these now right so that's the kind of uh, you know filtering process i like where you know um, you have a reduced number of stocks right but it's giving you um, the some of the stocks that a lot of people like trading here and look at uh, the entry here that was uh, given by um, the ultimate trading signal here 202 and then it closed at 320 right so about 118 dollars in profit right so let's just look at a couple more and then we can um, call it a day on this tutorial so now this one uh, is triggered here here at 84 sorry it triggered at uh, 277 and it's currently profitable by 84 dollars let's take a look at a few more examples and hopefully you can follow this tutorial through and then you know create a scan for yourself this one is up 52 so this is a fairly decent list of stocks that uh, you know we can find using this criteria so that's another one right so you can see it opened here at 142 closed at 168 and there's another buy that uh, you know recently triggered on that um, let's look at Baba. So these are all stocks that are uh, where the short term, you know, moving average is trading above um, the, the the bigger moving average, right? And those are the kind of, uh, you know, criteria that you should use in scanning your stock. So hopefully this helps and I will talk to you in my next uh, tutorial.